Uh, this next topic is, uh, does Christianity provide a basis for science? So what do you want to say about that? Um, I would say that, um, just trying to get my notes. I mean, I would I, say that, okay. I, I would say that Christianity uh, provides the basis for science in, in terms of the structure, um, that, um, you know, the laws of causality and, and, and things like that. If, if God is... Uh, if, if the assumption is that God has created the world and set in motion, then it gives a reason why there are these laws, that these laws are not just going to disappear tomorrow. So it, it gives you an account for um, uh, causality. And secondly, the Christianity, from for, for my understanding, being in seminary, two seminaries, one seminary was liberal, where there were gay lecturers, where there were people attacking the Bible. And for me, Christianity teaches me to study widely and to investigate. And you can see throughout history, Christians have, have, have encouraged scholarship. And, and so I don't see any problem about science and about hmm, people wow. who are not, not wanting to be involved in science or promote science. Okay, well, let me, let me, let me just address you right there. I mean, to me, I think it is, it's, it's kind of hilarious to, to, hear you, to hear Christians say they have no problem with science, and yet... They have these big problems with science. For example, all of modern biology, which is firmly accept of, uh, accepting evolutionary theory that humans evolved from other animals, and you reject that. So here you are wanting to say that, you know, basically thank God for science because of God we have science, but now you reject modern science. And you probably, if you're a young earther, if you believe the universe is 6,000 years old, you're off by a factor of 3 million. It's because it's about 18 billion years old. So it, it's, it's, it's just it's kind of hilarious to say that you think Christianity is a form for science, but yet you deny modern science. Well, I don't demand, uh, whatever the, ever, for, for me, I'm not a scientist. So for me, I'm not, uh, that is not my professional basis. Me, it's historical Jesus to get me on that and all I'm talking about. But I've listened to eight of your talks, eight of your debates. I've listened to them carefully. And I've tried, I, 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 in this day, I've tried, I've set aside a full day, I've tried to do a bit of research and a bit of study on the topic. So I can't even begin to fully address those issues. All I know is that from a mathematical point of view, mutation and the natural selection does not make sense. And even in recent research, if you study recent studies on the rate of mutation and how mutations um, stay within, within a gene pool, and, and the problems that uh, scholarships recently having in that area, um, that the time factor for uh, a mutation to stay within a, within a gene and, and to have a, a long-term effect, uh, if you calculate the, the mathematical probability in, in just one, one uh, species, um, it, the, the, the uh, statistics go way millions and billions, uh, billions and billions of years beyond what current scientists think. So in other words, you've got problems with your model as well. No, it's no, 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 no. You're making. Well, this is not, th these calculations are not a problem with evolutionary theory. You cannot calculate or predict evolutionary changes. I mean, it has to do with isolation. Species change when they're isolated, the gene pool drifts. You can't calculate these things because they're made by, they're, they happen by random events, migrations, uh, could be volcanoes, meteor hits, or whatever. I mean, you, you can't predict these things. So well, that's, you're, that's... You're making, you're making a, I mean, if you study the current research in, in genetics and about, about how mutations, if you just Google that and study recent current mathematical uh, models and uh, 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 the issue about mutation and the effect of mutation, yeah. the rate of mutation. If you study the current scholarship on that, there's about five or six different views, different papers that have been written recently, so not not by creationists, by, but mainstream evolutionists. Well, and in that, um, just for one species, yeah. uh, it goes uh, uh, millions and millions. Uh, of years beyond what current uh, formulations are. So, no. and, and they're all different. Some, it's like 
astronomical bigger, astronomical smaller. In other words, the issue on mathematics and its relationship to mutation and natural selection. No, I, it, it's not I, a no. done deal. It's not as done as you are making it out to be in current scholarship. No, I, I think that's totally bogus. I mean, there there is a such it's thing not, as. It's not bogus. Let me let me no, finish I, I now. Let me let me talk a little bit. Let me let me say a bit no. now. I I let you talk. Let me finish. Let me say a little bit. Sorry. Uh, you, it is true that you can calculate some things like those molecular clocks. You can see how how things have changed over time. There's certain theories about that. But there's also things that are unpredictable, like horizontal gene transfer, where you can pick up totally foreign DNA. So in other words, this is DNA in your genome that is not even passed down from descendants. And you, there's no way to calculate that. So th and there could be all kinds of duplications, too, in the genome. There's, there's these things that happen that just you cannot calculate. So that's why I think it's totally bogus to try to calculate okay. species well, the change. Academic article, the academic article, because we let's put a bit of substance on it. If you go to uh, John Sanford, uh, Wesley Brewer, and Francis Smith, um, and uh, July, published 17th of September 2015, uh, and it's called The Waiting Time uh, Problem in uh, Model... Uh, homing in uh, something like that. But if, if you ta if you Google John Sanford and uh, Brewer and Smith on the waiting time problem, uh, and you know that's just one article with many articles on that topic, and they're trying to base what they do know, not what they don't know. And you're quite right. There are there are uh, factors that you you can't calculate, but they're trying to work from what they do know, and from what they do know, uh, the, the statistics don't add up. And if, and if you take your argument, you know, you're using that argument uh, to try and get out of the problem. You're not using that argument uh, to actually engage with the scholarship. You're fighting the scholarship. You're using it to get out of the argument. Deal with what we know. And what we know is mutations and natural selection, mathematically speaking, when we start to apply it to how, mutation, uh, how mutations uh, uh, stay and, and affect species, you know, it doesn't, it doesn't add up from what they know, and they're doing minute research on these areas. Okay, you send me the link after the show, and I'll put it in the show notes, and... Um, okay. Of course, I'll, I'll look no, at I'll, that. I'll, I'll, I'll have to do it later I, this afternoon, yeah. as soon as I finish, I'm, I'm yeah. going to go to bed. Now. I mean, I, I have a feeling you're misrepresenting the data, if it's valid, if it's valid science. It may be invalid pseudoscience, too, so I'm going to check it out. Okay. Um, but I, I, yeah, I mean, I, I mean, I, William Dembski is famous for talking about the odds of life arising and stuff like that. And I, I know the equations he's using are bogus because I've seen what he's done. And also Bart Rask, I've debated him. He well, wrote I'm a not... he wrote a big book about it, and I and I can see how his his equations are bogus. And I see people repeating these arguments about how things are calculated, and all of them I've looked at so far they're bogus. So well, Bernie, Bernie, you don't have to, you don't have to. Have... Bernie, you're an intelligent guy with a degree in engineering. You don't have to, you don't have to be that smart. You're smart. It's just common sense. But I, no, I no, 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 it's not common sense. Wait a minute. Nope. I've thought about this for, for years that, that that's been a problem. And when I went into studying it, because I've heard your lectures and debates, I went to study it for myself. I looked at the current scholarship. I was quite encouraged. And, 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 and glad to find that my, my own thinking as an ordinary person on the street is being confirmed by modern scholarship. Yeah, this stuff is not common science. This, this can be complicated things. I mean, it's like, you know, like quantum mechanics. People don't understand it, but they have to accept it even though it doesn't make sense. You well, know, I, 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 under, I understand it's hard to believe that we came from ape-like creatures and before that from fish. That is not common sense, but that's where the evidence leads. And so... You cannot appeal to common sense for for science. I mean, the common sense, we would not think the Earth is spinning at something like sixty thousand miles per hour because we don't feel it. So there's in a lot the, of in the article. In the article, it says this: various yeah. researchers have examined the issue of waiting time okay. and approached the problem from different directions using different right. starting assumptions. So that's on one issue. Will you send me the link on that? Okay. Yes, certainly, sir. All right. Thank you. Um, so anyway, I, just in summary, I, I think it's kind of I, I think it's kind of amazing that you would say thank God for thank God that He created science. Science owes everything to God, and yet here we have modern science and Christians such as yourself deny it. Like 
modern evolutionary theory is modern science, and you saying you're saying that's bogus. And yet, your this is best, modern science. Your, your main argument that you based evolution on has been about chromosome two or something like that. I've just given. I've, I'm only a layman. You studied it in more detail, but I've just tried to look at the current scholarship on one particular area, and I'm finding problems. I'm not coming at this as a person who wants to prove uh, creationism. I just want to study, study current scholarship, and, and it's showing me that it's not as clear as you're making out okay. to be. Well, let me, let me ask you a question. Do you think it's a scientific fact that humans evolved from other animals? You, you need to qualify what you mean. No, I don't. I said humans there's, evolved there's from other... There's, 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 evol there's evolution in time that we can see, and then there's evolution in species over long periods of time. So no, I'm, I'm talking specifically humans. Did humans evolve from other animals? From what I've just studied in current scholarship, it doesn't add up mathematically. Is it, so you're saying it is not a scientific fact that humans descended from other animals? From what I've just studied here, from what I've studied about mutations and how the variations okay. of mutations... Okay, but well, I'm, I'm trying to tell you... It's it a, I'm up. trying to tell it you that it... doesn't add up. I'm trying to tell you it is a scientific fact that humans descended from other animals. How did it happen? That is evolutionary theory. It's a theory and it's but, always being revised. But how it happened? Let me finish. Let me finish. Let me finish, please. Let me finish. Let me finish. Let me finish. Make a statement about something. Jason, let me finish. Ask you to back it up. Jason, you've not backed it up. All you, you're let me finish. Please, let me finish. I'm trying to say there's two points here. One point is it's a scientific fact that humans evolved from other animals. The second thing is how did it happen? That's evolutionary theory, and it's constantly being re revised. For example, horizontal gene transfer is another thing that kind of came in with um, descent and modification. So the, the complexity, what, how it actually happened is evolutionary theory, but, th but that it happened is a fact. And if you don't believe that humans descended from other animals, then you are not in modern science. And so that's why I think it's no, a joke really, to say you, you that's, 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 that's why I think it's a joke you for you to say me. that let me, let me, Christianity me brought us modern science and yet you deny Bernie, the, you sound, the Bernie, current state of finish. modern science. But, Bernie, let me come in. You sound like a modern prophet or something, just banging on, banging on. You, you failed to give us any data. I know you're going to say chromosome, whatever, but you've not given us any data. You just said fight, 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 but no data. I've given you current scholarship in a particular area. No, you area. haven't. No, you, you just gave... you that. Show me some current You gave one criticism... That shows what no. you're saying. No, you gave one criticism of evolutionary theory, but every... Like, for example, in the United States, every single university teaches that humans evolved from other animals. Every single university, no exceptions whatsoever, state universities. No, the, the okay, problem, so it's established fact. The problem with the of science, that science just doesn't stand still, it moves on. And this current, scholarship in the in the, this current scholarship in the mathematical implications of the mutation rate on the wait in time it, it is very dangerous and, and, and is strategic in if... if the current scholarship is correct. Mm. It makes all the stuff that you're claiming nonsense. Okay, next, the next topic is